five, it'll bring the pictures back. There you go. So we are introducing some new pistols, and um, these are some uh, new pistols for each faction, and uh, they are slightly different than the ones we have. In that uh, all these are compact pocket pistols. So um, what this means that um, they take up less equipment points uh, and so on. Um, we we'll start by having a look at the American uh, one, which is uh, this one you see right here. It's a 1903 pocket hammerless pistol. It was designed uh, by none other than uh, John Moses Browning, who is pretty much the grandfather of the modern firearm. Um, it is uh, the third uh, of his uh, generations of designs, and the concept behind it was that uh, you have um, three different uh, types of pistols, uh, a full size, a compact, and a best pocket pistol, all following roughly the same design, but uh, for different uh, calibers and sizes. So one design to have a lot of needs. Um, the uh, pocket pistols came in two other designs. Um, there was uh, one with an exposed hammer, like you see on most pistols, and then there's this one, the pocket hammerless, where the hammer is uh, hidden inside the frame. And the purpose of having a hammer hidden is that it won't snag if you pull it out of pocket. So that's quite a clever design. Yes, yeah. definitely. Uh, it fires a fairly small uh, cartridge, um, uh, 32 automatic, um, which is also known as the 7.65 millimeter uh, here in Europe. And about uh, half a million of uh, these pistols were produced uh, between 1903 and uh, 1945. Let's have a look at it in game. Let's fire up the game. There you go, the handgun. Uh, so uh, now I'm uh, looking at my American soldier here. I see I have a new pistol uh, up in the corner. And it's 300 gold. I'll take that. Yeah, I'm not sure the price is fixed yet. No, uh, the price is not fixed. Yeah. No. So and as you can see, it only takes uh, one equipment point. So uh, this will be great if you uh, have that just one little point to spare and uh, you want something uh, a bit better than a knife. Yeah. So it's half of the larger handguns, um, yet it's uh, not half as good. <laughs> so you get uh, value, you get for, value for money, value for equipment space. Yeah, yes. It can even fit in your boot. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the idea about this pistol was uh, that, uh, uh, let's just start the game while I talk. So uh, these pistols uh, in the US service uh, were bought by the army and issued to uh, generals and they were available for private purchases. And it was a very popular private pistol altogether in the 30s. Um, it's one of the main uh, combat pistols uh, of that whole era. Um, a lot of generals were issued uh, these pistols and uh, some even had their names engraved on it from the factory. So we have something like uh, 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 Patton had a pistol with his name on and all his stars and everything. Nice. But uh, it was uh, commonly used by everyone who needed a handgun but uh, didn't uh, want to go hold around uh, something uh, large. Yeah. So it could be anything from officers to doctors uh, and just private uh, so we had them sent from home. Yeah. Let's skip the car now. Uh, I think we might have some audio issues. It's the damn clock that's uh, disconnecting by itself. Yeah. We're looking into the sound so of the um, settings. There we have it. So yeah, it's a fairly small pistol, as you can see. It's... Um, Do we have audio? Well, hang on, let's see. We'll have a look at the audio once more. I think it's... Uh, we might need to restart the game. Uh, usually, that helps if... Okay, 
Okay, hang on guys, we're working on it. We'll get that fixed. Yes. And if not, it's gonna be a very silent movie. We'll check on the TV box. Yeah, I'm the honey. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> I that's why I tried to rejoin. Did we, no, we didn't mute the main. Did you mute the game uh, before? Yeah, probably unmute the figure. Okay, okay. Yeah, so do you do. Alright. Sweet that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry, yeah. <coughs> so, complicated technical thingy? A dingy? Well, mm. it wouldn't be a dev stream unless we had uh, some technical complications. <laughs> Is it good? There you go. Let's okay. go shoot some guns. So let's uh, have a look at the yeah. Let's let, let's ha try to try to listen to the beautiful sound that we. Uh, it's, uh, it's really awesome. Uh, so uh, it holds uh, eight rounds of uh, thirty-two automatic, which is not a very powerful uh, cartridge, but um, it does the job. Um, yeah. uh, a headshot uh, is uh, still quite facial on it. So. Yeah. It's uh, it's good for especially if you're a veteran player and uh, have a lot of uh, uh, equipment slots. Uh, you can use this one to just fill in. So yeah. you can both have a rifle, a wrench, and a medic kit uh, and a pistol now. Yeah, and for new players, obviously, it's uh, it's a great addition to the to the semi-auto rifle. Yeah. It unlocks uh, fairly quickly. Uh, At the tactical ribbon one. Yeah. Um, so. It's a it's an it's a nice uh, addition to the armory. Cool. Great. All right. Well, is that it for this one? That's the one. Let's so. move on to the next yeah. one.